Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Civilization VI on the PlayStation 4 Pro. All right. We're going to start out by ending our turn here, of course. But, uh, oh, looks like we still got a unit that needs to be moved. Oh, yes, that is right. I forgot. We were sailing south with this unit. Let's continue sailing south. And, yeah, what I was going to say is that it looks like we might not be able to get our canal here, unfortunately, guys. Oh, oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that. She likes our walls. <laughs> See, I told you. She's all for defensive. I'm all for walls, too. Uh, so, as we already talked about, we probably can't get a canal there because that is, you know, it's got the, the uh, cliffs and it's got the hills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think, somebody's telling me you can't build canals on hills. And if that's the case, that means we wouldn't be able to get it in this one either, because I didn't realize that this one is also a hill. What? Yeah, that's a hill. That's where I was planning on building the canal. And so, might not be able to get canals, guys. Which is a real bummer. It means these two seas won't be connected. Now, it doesn't really change much, honestly, but it's just really just a matter of... Uh, we wanted a I canal. I wanted a canal there, yeah. I want it. <laughs> yeah, I want it even more now that the game's telling me I can't have it. I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky and something will happen there that probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll still beeline towards canals, though, I suppose. Uh, I guess we haven't really been beelining. We've been getting everything but fucking canals. <laughs> so we got the trader here in New York, so we can get that last trade route going. Uh, so I don't know what else we need. I guess we can get a bank or the shipyard. Uh, both of those would, in fact, be quite good to get. Uh, and then there's the cathedral as well, uh, which... Would give us some good bonuses, mostly for Tundra, though. Uh, so what I think we'll, which I... Huh. Yeah, we don't oh, really have any Tundra. Wall. <laughs> uh, the ancient walls must be repaired oh, first. Dang. I don't know how those got damaged. Hmm. Interesting. Was there a flood? No, they don't even have a river here. I don't know how it got, it got damaged, honestly. Okay. Well, Just whatever. old, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Uh, so let's do the, the shipyard before the bank. Uh, because this does give production. Yeah, it gives production here. And so... What is production equal to the adjacency? Yeah. Uh, it gives a bit of bonus, so that allows us to build the bank quicker. That's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, so we need to... Get that new trade route set up. And we can build one other thing. Uh, with this guy here. Newtonham could probably use... What is this here? Oh, that's the industrial zone that we're constructing. So we could always give him another farm, like one right there. Mm -hmm. That'd be an option. Uh, that'd give him more housing. Mm-hmm. True. And they do need housing, so that's what we'll do. We'll get a farm right there. I remember the farms being next to each other. It does get bonuses. And it just looks nice. True. Yeah, that makes sense. Farms would be next to each other. Uh, so before we set this trade route out, or set this trade route up, we need to, uh, yeah, you cannot turn that off once you're in here. Uh, we need to uh, figure out which is the best one. So the only one trading to us right now is a cod. <laughs> That's it. Look at him go. Yep. Nobody wants to trade with us, James. All right, so let's just get down. These are all our own yeah, trade routes. I wish it was a little scrolling. bit easier to get through here. Oops, and I might have went too far. All right, so that's the Sulemon. If we wanted to continue trading with him, uh, Newtonham to Suleiman would be 13 gold. That's the best option that I'm seeing now. Where the money goes. Yeah. Um, looks like trading to Genghis Kong has quite a few benefits. Culture and faith and science. I kind of feel like we should trade with him then in this case. Um, it would only be these cities right here though. Okay. Yeah, it looks oh, like oh, the 5.7 is the best. You need to trade to this particular city to get those bonuses. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we might do that then. Uh, or we could just go for the money and trade with this city because it gives the science. Basically, the only thing you're not getting is the culture, and it's I worth like more. Culture. Yeah, but look at how much more money you're getting. We're making a lot of money. Yeah, we need a lot of money, Jinx. Um, I think we're gonna do probably do Portsmouth. Uncultured swine. What are you talking about? <laughs> look at how much culture we have, Jinx. Got, it's not enough. We got a lot of culture. Uh, going through all this is kind of a pain in the bat, a pain in the ass. Excuse me. Well, we could get culture uh, instead of production. If you really want the culture, Jinx. I want that Mongolian culture. 
This is to the Mongols. Is it? Yeah. Oh. But yeah, that's that city again isn't worth as much. Man, uh setting up trade routes with uh the Mongols is very profitable. That's why everybody does it. Mm-hmm. Even if they hate the guy. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's what we're gonna end up doing. We're gonna trade with him. I felt like it was worth checking this though, seeing what the uh Best route was so we want to pick up the pick the exact city, which I'm thinking is going to be Newtonham or Portsmouth. Uh, I suppose we can do Portsmouth. No, no, no. no. Let's do Newtonham. To that city. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it, guys. Uh, so that means we need to send the trader. Oops. To Newtonham. Any day. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's go and continue moving these guys. Uh, that's right. We do have access to their. To their lands. I forgot oh, they gave us. They gave us a uh, border access for. When did we trade them? I don't even know. If we traded them. Goodies. We gave them some type of goodie. Ponies. Oh, this is a uh, continent. Is huge. Yeah, it is. It's way bigger than our continent. We're on the baby continent, Jinx. <laughs> I guess that makes sense because there's not very many sibs over here. Because we're babies. There's only sib four sibs. All right, so yeah, we're on the. We're on the and fighting each other. A little continent. Well, they're fighting each yeah, other, too. Yeah, they're fighting, too. Alright, so we finally got this guy here to spread the religion to Jerusalem. Gonna take him a little while. They're a bit slow to get naked. Mm-hmm. I've sent you trader with gifts of runestones. They're powerful, the stones, not the traders. <laughs> uh, your delegation is most welcome. I so, guess. We could always use that money that he gave us to just, uh... Give it right back to him to set up a delegation with him if we wanted to. I don't trust that I kind of want to set the delegation up with her, though. I don't think we did that yet. Oh, another World Congress. Okay. Um, so this time we have some different choices uh, with the luxury policy here. Duplicates of the chosen luxury resource grant amenities. Oh, well, that seems useful. Or we could do the chosen luxury resource grants no amenities. Uh, I'd prefer to get a bonus for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out what resource we have the most of. Amber. Probably Amber, yeah. All right, so yeah, we can see down here uh, that Amber is our most plentiful one. Of course, there are the furs and the spices. So maybe you should look at everybody else's resource and pick the one that's going to be like least profitable for everybody else mm -hmm. is what I'm thinking. So like, yeah, we have three spices. Nobody else has spices. Uh, but I bet everybody has Amber. Oh, maybe not. Just Suleiman. Just Suleiman. one. So what we could do is go with the spices or the uh, the furs. Well, no, he's got furs, too. If we went with spices, then nobody else would benefit from it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So we could do that. Or we could just go with the Amber since we have so much of it. And I would just go with the Amber. Yeah, I guess we could do that. All right. So let's... uh. Let's go with the Amber, and we're going to probably put all of our points to that. Uh, though, what, what's the Sovereignty one? Oh, okay, this is the uh, Trade Route one. Or, or excuse me, the City State one. Um, okay, we're just going to vote for for one of these. I don't even know who we're... We're just going to do the military, Militaristic, because I know we have a military uh, civ that we're Cesarean of. Alright, so... Uh, and we won't put no points to that. And with this one... Again, we are going to choose... Amber, if you can find it. Is it alphabetical? It looks like it's alphabetical. It should have been. Yeah. All right, so we're going to put a lot of points towards this because I really want it to pass. Uh, I think it would be quite beneficial for us. And so we'll put the maximum amount, maybe? Oops. Yeah, careful. <laughs> Make sure that we get this passed. All right. Maybe if I can just get to the next. All right, let's submit it. See what everybody else is proposals are they had better agree well nobody's gonna agree to that because only Suleiman has amber so well, he might agree i mean he could i doubt it though Ta -da. it passed just because of our own power though uh if we look at it uh we can see what everybody else was supporting here amber oh somebody else oh, okay that's right everybody had amber because we don't we don't know most of the countries i didn't think about that fact that's true we should have did something else jinx yeah, because Amber benefits everybody. Though we might not be able to pass it without everybody else's votes. Yeah, true. Yeah, if you look at uh, Norway, he put six. Or whatever, I don't know. Oh, wait a minute, no. That's against Amber. Oh, oh. I think that's against Amber. 
I'm not sure. Oh, yep. That's oh, okay. against Amber. So the chosen luxury resource grants no amenities. They all voted for Amber because we have so much Amber oh. to screw us over. That's so so now our Amber is granting no amenities. God damn now. That's a bitch. All right. And <sighs> looks like uh, we didn't pass this one either. Because this was for, uh, looks like the scientific one passed. All right. Well, that's a bummer. Damn them. And London became huge. <laughs> but the problem with that, of course, is now they're going to be lacking amenities. They're going to yeah. be all pissed off. Yeah, they have no amenities now. You can see that that's a problem. All of our cities are going to have a lacking of amenities because of Amber. Because of the rest of the world. God damn it. And yeah, there's another tornado. Twister. I want to see. I want to see one of these tornadoes, like actually on the map. The fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Not the fish. So this is the first large city of our people, anyway. Okay. Uh, so we boosted urbanization. urbanization because of that. And of course, people we need know. amenities. And we know. Athens needs housing. They have nowhere to live. <sighs> Let the meat. Ooh, cake. what is this? Chase, chase sequence. Oh, shit. Oh, it's our chased. agent trying to get away. He's got 64 gold and he's being pursued by the police. <laughs> <laughs> Choose how your agent is going to try and escape. Uh, so we can have him do it by vehicle, which just takes him three turns, or by foot, which takes four turns. Vehicle? Vehicle, of course. Durr. Yeah. Success. Current mission, siphon funds with a success. Agent is ready for motion, and uh, they get us 64 gold. Use the action button to select a special bonus. And okay. he had a hell of a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to run from police. He escaped. And we turned our capital in three turns. Okay. Nice. All right, so what else we got Take to do? Take that, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> we took your coins. Took your coins. So now we got to find this fucking city. Um, I know it was like a weird one. Oh, it's right Queen. there. Here we go. Let's set the route up. There we go. Lovely. So, we're just uh, continuing spreading the religion in Jerusalem. They don't have a major religion now, so we're making some progress. Let's just see what this guy can find. Barbarians. Yeah, there are Jeez. serious barbarian problems. Good God. I almost feel bad for them. Look at all these fucking goodie huts we're discovering, man. It's goodie huts galore. Any scout you sent it's would probably criminal. die, though. But man, it's not that far away. Yeah, but he could just, you know, hop out there, snatch it, and go. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> thinking about getting getting one, guys, and just sending him over. Just at least, the at the very least, there's a goodie hut right there. Yeah, that one's safe. I mean, I don't know that we'd get anything great with him, but... I want that island. <laughs> uh, no. Yes. No, I'm not no. talking about the island. <laughs> I'm talking about he wants gunpowder. Like, it's my island. I'm not giving this guy gunpowder. He has his own gunpowder. He's so greedy. He wants yours. He needs to upgrade all those crossbowmen he has. That's what the problem is. There were seven wonders in the world. And the discovery of the Terracotta army, we may say, is the eighth miracle of the world. The right. so we, army. So we <laughs> actually got that, that done. I didn't think it would. Uh, all current units gain a promotion level. All archaeological... All archaeologists from the owner may enter foreign lands without open borders. Okay. We're going to Indiana Jones that shit. Hell yeah, we are. And now every unit in our army has to be promoted. Oh, good God. They're in our but army yay. and our navy. I mean, yay, but, but yeah. you know, <laughs> that's a lot of upgrades. Uh, old World Wonder completed. We got a plus three error score. And yes, everybody's bitching about amenities. I know. And everyone's available for promotion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just go through and, and get everybody promoted. But let's first select some stuff here. Uh, we got a new spy select, uh, created. So we need to figure out what we want to get next. Okay, we decided we're not going to go after any of those right now. Oh, look, it's almost turned 215. And no one's built the Taj Mahal yet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jinx, <laughs> we're going to get a theater square. Yeah, about that. And, oh, oh, we already have the dam. That's right. I was like, we can't get a dam. I forgot we already had a dam. So we decided we're going to get right there. Look at that beautiful culture spot right there. Seven culture, guys. Uh, we kind of saved it for that. And that is a big bump in culture. 
mean, you really can't get much better than that. I mean, you can get a little bit better than that, I suppose. They're but that's great gonna district placement. They're not do anything but corny plays. How do you know they're going to be corny? Maybe their plays are going to be great, Because there's Jinx. two corn there. What? <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> ha ha ha. Har har har. <laughs> so, uh, Terracotta Army was constructed here. Uh, there's a few things we can get here that we can't get in the other the place. The party palace. Yeah. Uh, must be built on a hill adjacent to a mountain. Oh, we've got hills. I like that. We are lacking mountains, though. But the, uh, good God, look at the, how many turns that takes. That yeah, is a lot. a lot more than the Taj Mahal. Can we get something that will boost Ooh, that? military academy. Yeah, that seems useful. Let's do that. What um, city is this, anyway? This new is market, a new market. Okay. Yeah, this is our city where we're going to build. Yeah, military build units. academy. Well, the problem right now is our production is garbage. So what I think we're going to do is get the industrial zone. Um, we have to figure out where we want to build it. That's always fun. Yeah, I love... I love this part. It's great. <laughs> so Not we get a plus road. three there. Um, that seems... The best spot. Yeah, like the best spot right now, but is it the best spot later? Who cares? I We're think is die. the question. Uh, one there, which we will get that, and that'll boost that. Um, not seeing anything else here. And there's a two plus here. That's not bad. And we could always, you know... Improve it further. Just trying to see. Yeah, three plus looks pretty good. Um, let me just double check though on something real quick. Uh, so Corey's okay. It's only one plus for the adjacent district tiles. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and then the mines, the lumber mills. Okay, lumber mills. That's the thing I want to know. Is like, is there any way that we can get a lumber mill anywhere that would like uh, boost this up some? Yeah, I mean, I guess there's a couple trees over there. Yeah, you got this tree <laughs> spot right here where you could put a lumber mill to boost that 2 plus. That might actually be the best place, Jinx, for the industrial zone. Then go for it. Yeah, because we can boost it again, and that'll put it up to 3. And then, yeah, you get another adjacent district here and here. And yeah, I feel like that's probably the best spot. So let's put it there. It removes the tiles off there, the, the trees. That's okay. All right. And we just completed a bunch of stuff yeah, this turn, did. didn't we? We got the amphitheater constructed. All right. Uh, so you get the next line of walls. You get the university. Or get like an archaeological museum. Oh, fancy. Mm -hmm. And then we can scream all the time, but it belongs in a museum. <laughs> That sounds like something we would do. Yeah. Uh, looking at units. I want to go to a museum. Yeah, we've been wanting to go. Uh, there's a museum up in, in uh, Denver mm -hmm. that we've been wanting to, to visit. Oh, with Someday. the lack of time. The lack of time, my friends. Someday. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get the medieval walls, guys. Just because, again, this this is uh, on yeah, the front line. Walls. And Jinx likes walls. Love them. And Bradford, ugh. We never did name I this. I don't like that name. Is Bradford now? Somebody posted a decent name uh, on the last video, it. but I can't remember it. I should have wrote it down. Maybe I'll look after this one. Or maybe I'll forget again. Sounds probably more accurate. You probably forget. So we got the greenery completed. Let's go for the monument so we can expand those borders, those sexy borders. And uh, he needs to... Spreads more religion. Here. Some spread. Yep. Peanut butter jelly time. Uh huh. And then we got a new spy, which uh, this one it looks Wilbur. like he has a <laughs> Will. Will. Yep. Wilbur. Uh, he's got the upgrades. So we got a new con artist. Siphon funds as if two levels more experience. Fabricate scandal as if two levels more experience. If this spy is in home territory, enemy spies in your lands operate at one level below usual. That's what we're gonna do for Wilbur because Wilbur is going to be our counter spy. And I think that is his turn, by you the way. You can't lie to a guy named Wilbur. Mm-mm. No. He sees right through you. With his beady little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... We will be able to get around here. I was wondering if I we could get through so. the ice. I don't know how far we can go. It Not could be some issues, far. but... So we got to upgrade all these troops, man. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to do like a couple troops per turn. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. And we'll just kind of start here in the south. 
baby steps. Yeah. Uh, so we'll start with the ship here and um, get them upgraded first. And we'd want to do... What is this? This is the caravel. Uh, so let's have them do the combat strength versus naval units. Then we'll just kind of start down here, upgrade a few of them, and so that we're not just sitting here upgrading uh, over and over. Uh, so these guys should have an upgrade, right? Yeah, they have an upgrade, I think. I don't know, though. Maybe not. Mm. So it's 45 45, but yeah, it won't let me do anything. Maybe they're doing it a little bit at a time. Hmm. Oh, no, don't want to delete them. <laughs> Yeah, I can't even like move like, around in it. I can't upgrade you. I sentence you to death. Do I not have him like select him? Yeah, it seems like he's yeah. like. Maybe you gotta wake him up. Is maybe. He sleepy? Yeah, maybe we gotta wake him up. Oh, we'll wake him up. I think that's this. Yeah, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. And then maybe he'll let me upgrade now. Yeah. yeah okay, you can't do it when they're sleeping. All right, I didn't know that. <laughs> I suppose it makes sense though. All right, so I think we decided he's like the city defender, so yeah, we'll put him here. Sure, why not? Uh, and is there any other ones down here? No. Nope. No one in Bradford. I didn't realize how few units we have in the south here. <laughs> They're all defending against because they kind of need to. Doesn't he look like he's going to attack like any minute from he now? He sure does. Yeah, I don't trust this he's guy one little bit. He's got creepy peepers on you. Mm-hmm. All right, so what do we want to get for the bombard? Combat strength versus land units or combat strength when defending? Tricky. Uh, well, I like the can't attack after moving. Yeah. That's nice. One plus range is nice, too. Yeah, I think what we're going to do here, guys, is go for the uh, seven plus combat strength when defending. He's going to be our... I like using those for the attack in the city. I want to get dumb truffles. I said we're going to do two units at a turn, but we're going to do all the ones that are over here, guys. <laughs> all right, so uh, the musketman. I don't know. Cry. Don't we have another musketman over here? Or maybe not. Apparently we don't. All right. So Jinx wants to do the seven plus combat strength versus melee and range units. Um, sure, I guess so. I really just wanted to say battle cry. All the and... tortoise could have been fun too. <laughs> we'll do this guy too, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do for this turn. The next ones will be next turn, guys. Uh, and with this guy, I guess we'll do the uh, seven plus combat strength versus district defenses. I don't think he's gonna be fighting too many naval units here. <laughs> no. Since he's never leaving, apparently. He's stuck in the Sea of Marmara. Alright, so it's under turn. We'll do the next units next turn. We did most of them. There's really just these guys up here now. Yeah. And that naval unit. It's quite a lot of dudes, though. Please accept our delicious yakbo. The soy keeps the beef tender and flavorful. Mm -hmm. Your delegation is most welcome. I meant to send her a delegation, and I forgot. Thank you. And... I thought we already had open borders with her. Hmm. I think that was the other woman. Maybe. Oh, uh, maybe I'm just mixing them up. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, do you guys not have any uh, strategic resources? Do we already have the jade? I think that's what we got. Yeah, we got Korea. from... Yeah, you're right. Uh, so that's the problem is, yeah, they don't have any strategic resource to give us, so they just want to give us the open borders, which for me, open borders is not... Uh, yeah, I would rather have more money. Um, so what if we did this? What if we, uh, you gave me more money? Oh, she has no more money. Oh, she's broke. Okay, so what if you gave me all your gold here? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no. No, no, no. I would just 50 of it. No, you can keep a few. All right, so she's you not for that. Later. <laughs> if I just tick this down some. Oh, she likes that. No, she doesn't. She's like, yeah, whatever. Okay, so we're just going to get really uh, <laughs> exact with this, guys. Every piece of gold matters. Oh, goodness. Don't judge me, Jinx. I am judging. You act like you don't do this when you play. I don't. You probably don't. You don't care about money like I do. No. Pains her to agree, because I milked her for every little piece <laughs> of gold I could get. Because that's how I do it. I've been doing that shit in real life, too. I get all crazy if I feel like I've been cheated. Uh, he does. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like somebody cheats me. I can't say anything, though. Yeah, I've earned us a lot of money. 
Tornado family. A tornado slowly descends from a summer storm and people seek refuge. Aww. I think that's gonna fuck our, our shit all up. Oh, that's not art. No, it's right there. It's fine. It could not be. It could sweep down here it's and destroy our horses ponies. or something. Yeah, it could get the ponies. We gotta put the ponies away in the barn. Hope that that protects them. It won't. There's been peace here. Okay, so yeah. Violent storm. Tornado family named Lindsay has developed and is headed to the southwest. Oh. The Lindsay family. Jinx, it's going right to the fucking ponies. It said southwest. It's coming right, ponies. It's going right for the goddamn ponies, man. It's fine. Oh, Farmers. our educator's back. Okay. He can now be assigned to a city. All right, awesome. Um, Jerusalem Where'd needs they have them locked up? Uh, we couldn't find them? No, I don't think they, like, arrested them or stole them or something. I think it was they more like... They steal them. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> I guess. Where I guess I don't really know how it worked. Um, we did lose this, by the way, but that's okay. I wasn't willing to give a bunch just for, for that. I don't really care that much, guys. All right, so we want to go ahead and appoint the educator, um, which is Triangle. And we need to put him in London. A sign. All right, so it's going to take work. five turns before we get that bonus On back. On vacation at your kidnapping. Is London the only city that can buy uh, the missionaries? Because, man, it sure would be nice to build and not have to walk this fucking far. Can Athens build them? Because I know they have, like, a... Or maybe they don't. You know what? They don't have that district. I think, yeah, they might be the only district. Maybe Jerusalem. Um, I guess we can take a look. They're not even nudists. Yeah, they might. They're not not be nudists enough. But what if we spread nudism one more time? Now they're nudist. Well, look at that, Jinx. See, it's great. But not for long if we don't stay adamant about being naked. So we can build a missionary there. There we go. They just turned nudist, and they are already creating nudist <laughs> missionaries, Jinx. I'm impressed. We have a lot of gold. Well, it don't take much to be a nudist missionary. You just gotta go forth and spread your robes. Um, is that all there is to it? It seems like that there's a bit more. That is all. There's no training involved. <laughs> uh, we could go ahead and get a, a unit purchased. Uh, or we could a even build. A red coat. We, do we need, don't have any of those. We do need red coats. But aren't those uh something that we can upgrade to with our gold if we wanted to? Yeah, yeah those are melee units. Know. Let's just use our gold for that then. Although I was trying to see if there was any uh, anything I could purchase here with our, our monies. But yeah, I can't buy districts with money. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade upgrade all of our... Uh... Do you need to promote him first? Yeah, we'd have to promote him first, I guess. Okay, let's just go ahead and do this one thing at a time first then. Uh, so Wilburl. Uh, Wilburl's going to counterspy. Wilburl. <laughs> Wilburg. Wilbur. Wilbur. How are you gonna pronounce it? <laughs> so he's gonna counter spy. Oh shit. You gotta pick what you wanna do, that's right. Oh man. Why can't he just protect everything? I know, right? I guess we'll do the the counter spy at the city, city center. Ah. Uh, it's kind of a bummer. Wilbur, you disappoint me. Yeah. Does disappoint me. Just a little bit, guys. Uh did he get yeah, he's fully upgraded. So we're just gonna go ahead and have him. Uh, port fire. All right. See how far we can slide in there. Oh, okay. This is yeah. Ooh. All right. So it goes down much further than I thought. So that does mean that there is no way to travel <laughs> to this continent that direction. We've got to go the other way, apparently. All right. So that's that a shame. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate, Jinx. We gotta go the other way. Okay. I guess that's technically Damn. the more natural way. Aspirin. Anyways. Yeah, we went the long way. Yeah, well, I didn't even <laughs> know where we were at on the globe, so I didn't know mm -hmm. it was the long way. I had no idea. All right. So, I guess we'll go ahead and upgrade those units, and then we'll go ahead and, uh, or, uh, excuse me, level them up or whatever, and then upgrade. Uh, so we got the knight. Uh, so he's going to do the routing. Five plus combat strength against damage units. Basically, he's very good at picking on people. Sounds about right. Sound, sounds very knightly. So, uh, Bombard needs to get uh, upgraded as well. We're gonna go the same route with him. And then the Musketman. Oh, interesting. We have the two top ones already. Okay. No rhyme or reason. 
Yeah, I guess that's what we do. Seems like the most useful here. Now, how often do you want to scale the cliffs? I suppose Jinx might want to scale the cliffs all the time, I don't know. Yes. And then, uh... No, I would rather be on the cliff. Oh, these guys got a lot of. Look at how many upgrades they have. They are like one of our oldest units. And we still don't have a name for them. I know, because nobody suggested any, and Jinx <laughs> hasn't come up with any either. I forgot. <laughs> uh, so we could always name him now, before the end of this episode. He's the greatest unit. What would we name a fantastic crossbowman? <laughs> or ranged unit, I should say, because he won't be a crossbowman for long. I don't know. Oh, there's one more unit needs an upgrade. Call him Sharpshooter. <laughs> <laughs> Sharpshooter? Yeah. I guess we can call him that. I was Probably thinking more like fit. based on a character that would be a sharpshooter. I don't know of any crossbowmen. I guess we can name him Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> he could be Daryl, sure. We'll name him Daryl. Uh, from Walking Dead, if you don't know what we're talking about. All right, so we'll do that. And um, name him. Daryl. Oh, you can do randomized names. Well, that's cool. The I didn't know that. Arrows. But we already have a name for him, so. Daryl. <laughs> How do you spell Daryl? Should have been a, it, a, I think it's two R's and then Y L. That sounds right. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> Daryl. There's no wrong way to spell Daryl. Well, that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> you can't change the name either. I don't think so. Well, that's how it is. Maybe hey, we got right, a trophy okay. for that. All right, so we got a few more minutes, guys. It'll probably be the last turn here. Uh, this one. We didn't really make a lot of progress because of all those units needing to be upgraded. And I didn't even upgrade them all. There's one right there that's not even upgraded. What is he oh, doing? He's just chilling. What did I... He's sleeping. Oh, maybe he was down... Yeah, I guess he's down here for a reason. No, he's not. He's just sleeping. Alright, well, we need to upgrade him. Name him Shamurai. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's been shamming this whole time. Hello. Oh, it oh, actually went story. north. Alright, it lied to us. Alright. So, see what new things we have Get here. Get out of the way, Native policy. Conquest. Combat victories over units from earlier eras. Right, okay. Get gold. Gold. Colonial taxes, 25% gold in production. Wait, is this on another continent? I think Jerusalem's on another continent, so that would only provide a bonus there. And the Raj. Two plus science and culture, faith, and gold from each city-state you are the Cesarean of. Mm, that That's could be useful. pretty useful. I think we're the Cesarean of two at least two so that would actually be pretty damn good um but i'm still trying to get be the cesarean of more countries so or more places so i feel like keeping it here on the charismatic leader is uh probably pretty useful for right now because we're trying to get more uh, city states under our control so tomorrow wins uh we earns the we earn the bronze tier victory which is 50 diplomatic favor that's not bad that's all right we'll take it we're not really doing much. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, so... Oh, no. Where'd it go? It went over there to the left. To the left? Oh, wow, there. it's way over there. It moves fast. All right. How it hasn't it destroyed anything, anything yet. Up? It has Because it hasn't gone across any tiles yet. Uh, that we've had stuff. It's got to go across that tile. Uh, so... Yep, you know we could believe that. I don't Housing. think they know how twisters work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do twisters work, Jinx? I don't know. All willy-nilly like, I guess. Isn't that what it's doing? It's just being willy-nilly. It's just going where it wants. Uh, so, Alfred is our other spy. And he has upgrades. So let's get him upgraded. He's a cat burglar. You can get cat burglar. Yeah. Steal great works as if two levels more experience. Siphon funds of his two levels more experience. Or breach a dam. Uh, let's do the great works one. I want to steal some shit. Cat burglar. Do some cat burgling. Yeah, we have to do some cat burgling. And we can pick something here. Only two choices right now. Enlightenment or natural history. Um, natural history give you archaeologists. Perhaps, it looks like it does. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Yeah, the archaeologist. Uh, the the one issue with this, and it is the antiquity side as well, as well as a bunch of wonders, a is this is is pretty one. far off right now. And a zoo. Yeah, there's some great stuff here, um, but a lot of these you have a to have. Water park. <laughs> there's great stuff here, um, but it's also like the longest one. It takes 16 turns to get. We haven't boosted it yet. But it's well worth it. Yeah, but I'm saying we have a lot of other options, Jinx, and that are quicker to get. 
We have no amenities. We need entertainment. <laughs> okay, but you have to have an entertainment district to get most of that stuff, and we don't have entertainment uh, districts. If we did, we wouldn't be having the amenity problems. Maybe we should get the entertainment district if we want to fix our amenity issues. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So he has two spreads left. Well, he has five. So what we're going to do is we're just going to keep him here in Jerusalem spreading that love. Oh, Lord. Spread the love, man. They're going to be so naked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we're going to move him uh, to spread the love up here. I really want him to spread oh in my, Jerusalem, honestly. The Christians are coming. Yep, there's Christians everywhere, Jinx. Or we could spread over to this guy as well. Uh, do any of these guys have a... Does anybody want... He doesn't even have a quest. I was going to say, does anybody have, like, a uh, quest to get our religion? No, he didn't have a quest says zero. Did. Convert the city state to our religion. Cardiff wants it. He wants nudism. They want nudism. Bad jinx. What the fuck was that? I don't know what that was. They got a monkey problem. All right, so where is Cardiff? It's up there in Mongol territory. So pretty far. You know, yeah. we should probably just go ahead and move this unit because otherwise it's going to keep on making me look just at him. Go, little ship. It could. Just go, man. Just go. Go explore. Do your exploring. Find some shit. I guess we, we should uncover all this. It bothers me if I don't have it all uncovered. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just the water. Uh, so we're looking for Cardiff. Cardiff. Uh, there he is. Okay. We could convert him, but he's kind of a distance away. We should probably work on uh, one little area at a time here. So we need to convert them. We Urfa. need to convert on this side. Yeah, Urfa. Christians are going to shut nudism down. <laughs> They're yeah. going to say it's bad to be naked. I could see that happening. You're right, Jinx. Um, it might be kind of difficult to convert this city. We'll try, though. We'll at least cause a minor disturbance mm -hmm. in the peace. <laughs> <laughs> could see some uh, theological combat as well, because, you know, they're pretty religious. Be an old lady fainting. Oh. <laughs> I never. <laughs> Uh, what did I say I was gonna do? I'm like, oh, we were gonna upgrade all those units. Oh yeah. Did we not? Uh, were we not able to do that yet? It's the end of the episode, though. It is the end of the episode. Yeah. I'm trying to see if we could. Uh... We gotta wake them all up. Yeah. Do you have to wake them up to be able to do that? I'm trying to just find what the. Huh. Some of them don't have enough points. No, I'm not talking about uh, leveling them up. I'm oh. talking about upgrading them to. The next level to the the red coats. Hmm. These are melee units. Aren't they? They should be upgrading to. Hmm. You know what I'm not seeing it as an option. Great escort formation. Delete unit. Maybe they. Red coats are their own thing. No, no, they're a melee unit. Not everyone can wear a red coat. They should be able to wear a fucking red coat. They just throw a coat on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure why I can't uh, upgrade them. We're gonna wake them both up though. I'm just trying to see what's going on here. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, why well, can't? It's not even an option. Maybe they don't. Uh, we could always look um, in the Civipedia. Take a look at a uh, merchant or uh, whatever the hell he is, uh, the musketman. Now it's looking land combat and musketman. Where he's at. And see what he upgrades to. Uh, so, upgrades to infantry. Okay, nobody turns into a red coat. Yeah, but doesn't the red coat replace infantry? Should have found him. That's what I was thinking and why he should upgrade to that. Uh, we'll just double check again. And what the fuck? Where's, where's the land units? Civilopedia units. units. Here we go. All right, and then we'll go to infantry. And then we'll see what he's replaced, but... Okay. He is not replaced by the digger. Interesting. So, who the fuck does the red coat replace? Maybe I was uh, misunderstanding how uh, the red coats work. I was thinking... Okay, it doesn't look like they replace anybody. No, they're their own dudes. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, they don't uh, replace anybody. All right, so that makes sense. That's the reason why I couldn't level them up. Uh, they do upgrade to mechanized infantry, though. Okay. Um, so, yeah. 
That's kind of a shame. That means we can't upgrade these these guys to it, but is what it is. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode where we're going to spend some of that damn money. Almost 1,300 gold. Uh, so yeah, I hope to see you on that one, and thanks for watching, guys.